Okay, what we're working on today is the constant velocity carburetors. And I have a lot of questions on how to get these to run, how to tune them. These are off of a 1999 Kawasaki STX 900. This method will also work on the 1100s. It doesn't really matter. So this one has a problem starting, idling. I mean, they're known for this. So what you want to do first is you want to make sure that these plungers are working correctly. So if you've installed the carburetors and you've gave it gas on the trailer and you can see the plungers opening correctly, then it's still giving you problems. It's not wanting to idle or start. What you want to do is you want to turn these over, and I've already drilled one out, but you can see right there, that is the low speed screw. They hide them on these because you're, you know, they're sealed. They don't want you messing with them. But unfortunately, they ran these way too lean. So from a factory standpoint, they just won't operate correctly after they're used for some time. So this is what it originally looked like before I drilled it out. It's right there. It's almost impossible to see, but you'll see it. It's next to the oil port, but it's a little aluminum disc right there. I'll try to get as close as I can to it. Very hard to see, but you'll see it on yours. And what you want to do is you want to be very careful drilling these because that jet is underneath. But anyway, drill it out like this. And once you drill through the jet carefully, then you can take a tool like this and just hook it and pull what's left of the aluminum plug out. Then you want to lightly seat those jets. Turn them all the way in till they lightly seat with a flathead screwdriver. And then you want to back all three out a quarter of a turn. Then what you want to do is you want to come to your low speed jet, which is right there. It's the small one. And they've got a number 35 jet in there, which is not enough fuel to make this thing operate correctly. And that's why they have trouble starting as they age and they run lean. So you want to go to PJ Motorsports and order you a number 50 low speed jet for the constant velocity carburetors it will say for Kawasaki constant velocity then you just wanna you just wanna get a slot screwdriver and unscrew this jet just like that just unscrew the jet and then just for being fast I'm not gonna blow through it right now but I will then you take your other jets that we've ordered right here and these are a number 50 the hole is quite a bit bigger and you install it right there where the other one came out so remember you drill the plugs out that's the low speed screw again they are right here by your oil lines be careful drilling them because you will drill into the jet and ruin it the top of the jet use minimal pressure there it is and do all three then lightly seat those by screwing them in and once they lightly seat back them out a quarter of a turn on all three then change your low speed jet from a number 35 to a number 50 and this thing will idle and run like a dream better than factory and that'll put you back on the water and work out a lot of your problems now you have to make sure that these plungers inside here are opening and working properly they have nothing to do with the jet it's an airflow pressure make sure when you put these covers on you don't pinch the edge of the diaphragm I think I have one right here yes it's right here because if you pinch this this edge right here and it's not making a 
whooshing sound when you push on it, that means you're not getting airflow and it's not going to operate under the pressure of the throttle. You must make sure those are operating correctly first. Then you go ahead and rejet your carburetors, drill your plugs out, turn them all the way in, slightly, lightly seat. Don't force it because you'll destroy the needle. And then back them out a quarter turn, change your low speed jet from a number 35 to a number 50, and you'll be amazed at how good it runs. Anyway, hope this helps.